Hey guys, welcome to Central Kids Clubhouse. Our theme this month is breaking news. It's time to get up, find a good spot to dance, and get ready to worship with us. Only God can hang the stars in outer space. Only He can make the rainbow from the rain. Only God can part the seas to make a way. There's nothing He can't do. No, there's nothing He can't do. Cause He can do anything, anything at all. Giant too big, no mountain too tall I know God is powerful Yeah, anything He can do anything Anything at all Only God can hang the stars in outer space Only He can make a rainbow from the rain Only God can part the seas to make a Trust Him Well, what this means is we can trust Him Yeah, I know This means you and me can trust Him Because He can do anything, anything at all He can do anything, anything at all There's no giant too big Mountain too tall I know God is powerful Yeah, anything He can do anything Anything at all Hey guys, it's mail time. Let's see what's in the mail today. It's our memory verse and it's brand new. So let's learn it together. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Let's do it one more time. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Great job. Let's see what's inside our wardrobe of wonder today. I know what it is. Clue number one, you can use this on a phone. Like if your mom or dad were sending a text message to someone, this is something they could push on the phone. Clue number two, it can look like lots of different things. Happy, sad, angry, scared. Do you guys know what that is? It's an emoji face. Have you ever seen an emoji face on a tablet or a phone? This one looks like it's laughing so hard it's crying. But in our video today, it's gonna to be a different emoji face. Let's see if you can find it. Today's story is about a prophet named Micah. Micah has some breaking news for the people, but it's not good news. Let's check it out together. Play some more? Sure, let's go!
one eternity later. I'll be finished in two minutes. No, it's my turn. You were on there for ten minutes already. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. It's my turn. And if you don't get off right now, I won't be your friend anymore. If that's what you want. What I want is to swing on the swing. Next time, I will just come alone so I can have the playground all to myself. I don't get it. Two minutes should have been plenty of time, and I was on the swing first. The park just has one swing. I guess I'll just play by myself next time. I'm Sarah. And I'm Kane's Mama Mia! Uh, and, and these, these are, are your breaking news. Uh, Welcome to today's Bible story. A long time ago, there was a prophet named Micah who heard breaking news from God. What's a prophet, you might be asking? I'm glad you asked. A prophet was someone who God spoke to in special ways so that they could deliver messages to God's people. Like us, your news reporter. Yeah, kind of like that. One time, Micah had some important news. It was a message for the leaders of Israel. They were leading the people in the wrong direction. They only cared about themselves, really. They were unkind and unfair to the people. They only helped when they got something out of it. No! God wanted these leaders to take care of God's people, but these leaders were not doing what God wanted. God told them if they kept it up, they would lose the ability to talk to each other. They wouldn't be able to hear God's voice anymore because they wouldn't listen. <laughs> Michael was different though. He heard from God and told the people exactly what God wanted them to do. He didn't treat anyone badly, but treated everyone fairly. It didn't matter if people would give him things or couldn't. Micah would still tell the people what God wanted to tell them. Absolutely! Even when it wasn't all great news. It was the right thing to do because God wanted Micah and all the leaders to do just that. So Micah decided to stand up for what was right. And that's what God wanted the people to know through the prophet Micah. Bye! Chicka, 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 chicka. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. <laughs> the best friend. I was a bit mean and not fair to my friend today. Should I say sorry? I think I should, right? Okay, I will. I'm sorry for how I just treated you. How you treated me? We were playing well and having fun, but then I wanted something and didn't want to play fairly anymore. But I should have still done the right thing. It's okay. Want to go down the slide with me? So what did I learn today? Tons. One thing I learned about myself is that I sometimes can get a little grumpy when I don't get my wing. But when things go wrong, I can choose what's right. Peace out, friends. Catch you next time. When things go wrong, I can choose what's right. That's what we learned from Micah. No matter what happened, Micah always chose to do what was right and chose to honor God even when the other people around him weren't. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for the prophet Micah. Thank you for his story, because it shows us that even when times are hard and even when things are going bad, God, that we should always do what's right. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me, friends. Be sure to check us back next week for another video. Don't forget you can like and share this video with others. You can even come here on a Sunday morning and check us out live in person. See you next time.